guys, my name is Linda, and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the properties of proteins and how the proteins work together and how heat is related to denaturing those proteins. Okay, so if you're in a biology class right now, you've probably heard of the primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structures of proteins. So primary structure, that means that the amino acids are covalently bonded, kind of like pearls on a string, pearls on a necklace. Okay, secondary and tertiary structure means that these proteins are coming together to form a shape, whether, and these these shapes can be in the form of um, alpha and beta pleated sheets. And those are hydrogen bonded, okay? So I'm but here to explain to you how straightening your hair and cooking an egg is really similar to changing the proteins, okay? So if you, I'm sure you probably all know that hair is all made up of protein. So, so when you straighten your hair or when you curl your hair, for example, like this. So when you apply heat to a protein, what that does is that it's going to break apart the secondary and tertiary structures and temporarily you could say take them apart and um, change them into the desired shape that you want so if you're using a flat iron obviously your hair is going to be flat so what happens is that these secondary and tertiary structures they kind of break apart same thing when you're frying an egg you're going to take an egg whether you're boiling it or frying it you're taking this egg and changing these secondary and tertiary structures but here's another thing I want to cover. So when you get your hair wet, whether you stepped outside in the rain or you're taking a shower, what happens is that you're actually resetting your hair. So after you get your hair wet, you, your hair is going to go back to its original shape. And well, you would think, why? if I straighten my hair, if I change the, the structure of it, shouldn't it stay that way? No. You haven't changed the primary sequence, and that's what's most important. So... After you do take a shower, your hair never forgot that it was like actually curly, originally curly or originally straight. Your hair just goes back to whatever shape it's supposed to be and that all goes back to how your DNA is, okay? The thing I want to emphasize here is that with eggs, if you take an egg and you fry an egg and then you take a cup of water and you dump a cup of water on there, after you fried the egg, like after you're ready to eat it, it's not going to go back to its original shape, okay? And, like, we all know that, and we think it's common sense and we laugh. But why? And that's because you've heated the you've heated the egg so much at a certain degree that your hair, on the other hand, you're adding so much heat to it, whether you're adding 300 degrees or so. That's, that's only a little bit compared to what you're actually doing when you're frying the egg, okay? Um, one thing I want to emphasize too is that when you are working in a proteins lab, you want to be careful to stay away from any kind of water, especially distilled water, because that completely, like, any water can come in, interfere with the hydrophobic. And by hydrophobic, I mean hydro, which is water, and phobic, which means, like, phobia. So anything that's kind of afraid of water. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Um, I just love talking about what I'm passionate about and um, if you want. I'm also passionate about makeup so I'm also interested in biology because that is my major. Know. Comment, like, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it and um, feel free to check out my other videos later. Have a great day and talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.